हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन मॉस वायर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मॉस वायर स्पेक्ट्रा इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वाड्रुपल स्प्लिटिंग इन मोर डिटेल बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेटस रिकैपिचुलेट द मेन पॉइंट्स डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो the nucleus having nuclear spin equal to or greater than 1 has certain electric quadrupole moment that is its q is not equal to 0 and it has a spheroid shape rather than a spherical shape the unit of electric quadrupole moment is barn and one barn is equal to 10 to the power minus 24 cm square if q is greater than 0 that is q is positive the nucleus has prolate a spheroid shape if q is less than 0 that is q is negative the nucleus has oblate a spheroid shape if q is equal to 0 the nucleus has perfectly a spherical shape antimony 123 has the lowest value of q and it is equal to minus 1.2 barn on the other hand lutetium 176 has the highest value of q and it is equal to plus 8.0 barn the nucleus with a spin i has 2 i plus 1 a spin orientations in the space in the presence of electric field it means if the nuclear spin of a nucleus is i there are 2 i plus 1 possible a spin orientations in the space in the presence of electric field in the presence of electric field the ground state of f57 whose i equals to 1 by 2 remains doubly degenerate corresponding to mi equals to plus minus half it does not a uh, split up the ground state of f57 does not a uh, split up in the presence of electric field on the other hand in the presence of electric field the excited state of f57 which has i equals to 3 by 2 a uh, splits up into two energy levels and each energy level is doubly degenerate corresponding to mi equals to plus minus 1 by 2 and other one is mi is equal to plus minus 3 by 2 the ferrocyanide Fe Cn whole 6 4 minus i had symmetrical arrangement of 6 Cn minus signs around the nucleus of Fe2 plus i and there is no net electric field gradient around the nucleus therefore ferrocyanide ion does not exhibit quadrupole uh, splitting and there is only one absorption peak in its mos wire spectrum this is due to the fact that there is symmetrical arrangement of 6 cn minus ion around the nucleus of fe2 plus ion and there is no net electric field gradient in this symmetrical ion symmetrical structure of fe cn whole 6 Four minus i. This is octahedral arrangement of six c n minus i around the nucleus of f e two plus i, and this i is called ferrocyanide i. Overall charge is four minus two plus and six minus equals to four minus. Mos wire spectrum of f e c n whole six four minus i. exhibits only one absorption peak at a relative velocity of 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर पर सेकेंड इट इज द आइसोमर शिफ्ट ऑफ द एब्जॉर्बन पिक द ओनली एब्जॉर्बन पिक इन द मोस्ट वायर स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ फेरोसाइनाइड एंड एराइजेज ड्यू टू द ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन द न्यूक्लियर इनर्जी लेवल्स ऑफ एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन एज सोन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर This is the excited state of Fe fifty seven having nuclear spin three by two, and this is the ground state of Fe fifty seven nucleus having I equals to one by two, and it is in absence of electric field gradient. That is, there is no electric field gradient, and the transition of nucleus takes place from ground state to the excited excited state. Giving rise to only one absorption peak in the most wide spectrum, in absence of electric field, that is symmetrical structure. If one of the C n minus i n of ferrocyanide i n is replaced by N o plus i n, if one of the six C n minus i n s of ferrocyanide i n is replaced by N o plus i n, we get nitro plus i n i n. in which symmetry is lost and therefore nitroprusside ion has some net electric field gradient at the nucleus of a p2 plus ion one cn minus ion has been replaced by no plus ion and thus we get nitroprusside ion this is the structure of sodium nitroprusside it is a well known compound which is used in the organic chemistry for the detection of sulfur in organic compounds this sodium nitroprusside has unsymmetrical arrangement of six ligands around the nucleus of ap2 plus ion as a result nitroprusside ion exhibits quadrupole splitting and there are two absorption peaks in its most wide spectrum as shown in the following figure please note that ferrocyanide ion exhibits only one absorption peak in the most wide spectrum while nitroprusside ion having unsymmetrical structure exhibits two absorption peaks in the most wide spectrum as follows these two absorption peaks are obtained in the most wide spectrum of nitroprusside ion and the separation between two absorption peaks is called quadrupole splitting which is denoted by qs these two absorption peaks arise due to following transitions involving delta mi equals to 0 and plus minus 1 as shown in the following figure only those transitions between nuclear spin orientation energy levels are permissible which involve delta mi equals to 0 or plus minus 1 and the origin of these two absorption peaks have been illustrated in the following figure this is the ground state of fe57 nucleus with i equals to 1 by 2 it is excited state of fe57 nucleus with i equals to 3 by 2 and it is in absence of electric field that is there is no electric field in the presence of internal electric field the ground state of fe57 nucleus remains doubly degenerate as we have already discussed it is corresponding to m i equals to plus minus 1 by 2 but the excited state of f57 nucleus high having i greater than 1 that is 3 by 2 as splits up into two energy levels m i equals to plus minus 1 by 2 having lower energy while m i equals to plus minus 3 by 2 having higher energy now two transitions are possible in a state of one first transition this one and second transition this one the first transition involves delta mi equals to 
while the other transition involves delta m i equals to plus minus half. These two transitions give rise to two absorption, absorption peaks in the MOS wire spectrum of ferrocyanide ion. The separation between two absorption peaks in the MOS wire spectrum arising due to interaction of the nucleus having non-zero electric quadrupole moment that is q equals q is not equal to zero with the internal electric field gradient of the molecule is called quadrupole splitting let us understand it again the separation between two absorption peaks in the mos wire spectrum which arise due to the interaction of the nucleus having non-zero electric quadrupole moment with the internal electric field gradient of the molecule is called quadrupole splitting. That is separation between two absorption peaks arising from the interaction of the nucleus with Q not equals to zero with the internal electric field of the molecule is called quadrupole splitting. It is denoted by QS. It is expressed in millimeter per second or centimeter per second. On the other hand, the mean of the relative velocities corresponding to above absorption peaks is equal to the isomer shift. The mean of the relative velocities of two absorption peaks is equal to the isomer shift and it represents the band origin. QS quadruple splitting is equal to separation between relative velocities of two absorption peaks while isomer shift is equal to sum of relative velocities of two absorption peaks by two and it is nothing but the mean of relative velocities corresponding to above absorption peaks. This is the mean sum of relative velocities of two absorption peaks divided by two is equal to isomer shift. Diagrammatic representation of quadrupole splitting and isomer shift can be represented as follows. the separation between two absorption peaks is called quadrupole splitting it is denoted by qs and the average or, and, or the mean of the relative velocities corresponding to two absorption peaks is equal to isomer shift and it represents the band origin this is the the blue curve is the mean of two red curves. Two red absorption peaks can be represented as an average in the form of blue absorption peak. The blue absorption peak is the average of relative velocities corresponding to these two absorption peaks. Now the time for sales assessment. The MOS wire spectrum of Fe57 in ferrocene at 20 Kelvin consists of two absorption peaks. One absorption peak at minus 0.50 millimeter per second relative velocity and other one at 1.88 millimeter per second. Then calculate the isomer shift and quadruple splitting for the excited nucleus in millimeter per second. The mos spectrum of Fe57 in ferrocene at 20 Kelvin exhibits two absorption peaks, one at minus 0.50 millimeter per second and other one at 1.88 millimeter per second then we have to calculate the isomer shift and quadruple splitting in terms of millimeter per second please pause the video and try to solve it within five minutes
here is the solution of this problem quadruple splitting is equal to separation between relative velocities of two absorption peaks the absorption peak with higher value of relative velocity minus the absorption peak having lower value of relative velocity on putting these values minus minus becomes plus and it is equal to 3 uh, 2.38 millimeter per second and isomer shift is equal to the mean of relative velocities of two absorption peaks it means we will add the relative velocities of two absorption peaks and then it will be divided by 2 on solving plus minus becomes minus and the answer is 0.69 millimeter per second this is the isomer shift and it represents the relative velocity corresponding to the band origin and it is quadruple splitting it represents the separation between relative velocities of two absorption peaks the above calculation can be explained diagrammatically as follows please remember that one peak is obtained at minus 0.50 millimeter per second and the other peak is obtained at 1.8 millimeter per second one peak is obtained at minus 0.50 millimeter per second while the other one is obtained as 1 point at 1.88 millimeter per second and their separation is equal to sum of this quantity which is 1.88 and this one 0.5 millimeter per second and on adding these two quantities the quadruple splitting becomes 2.38 millimeter per second on the other hand the average of relative velocities of these two absorption peaks has been represented by blue line and it corresponds to isomer shift or band origin and it is equal to 0 0.69 millimeter per second it is positive the Moshwar spectrum of tetraphenyl tin does not exhibit quadruple splitting and it exhibits only one sharp absorption band in its MOS wire spectrum at 1.21 millimeter per second at temperature 78 Kelvin. Tetraphenyl tin has symmetrical structure. It does not exhibit quadruple splitting due to absence of lactic field gradient and it exhibits only one sharp absorption peak in the MOS wire spectrum at 1.2 millimeter per second at temperature of 78 Kelvin. This is due to the fact that this compound is symmetrical and it has no electrical field gradient. The symmetrical structure of tetraphenyl tin has been represented below. It has tetrahedral structure and there is symmetrical arrangement of four phenyl groups around the nucleus of SN119. But if one of the phenyl group of tetraphenyl tin is replaced by chlorine atom, we get triphenyl tin chloride. SNC6H5 whole 3 Cl which has unsymmetrical arrangement which is unsymmetrical its structure is unsymmetrical and has electric field gradient at the nucleus of SN119 therefore it exhibits quadruple splitting one of the phenyl group has been replaced by chlorine atom this structure is unsymmetrical and there is some net electric field gradient at the nucleus of SN119 as a result the triphenyl tin chloride exhibits quadruple splitting 
it exhibits two absorption bands in its mass bar spectrum at 78 kelvin at the first peak is obtained as plus 0.16 mm per second and the other absorption peak is obtained at plus 2.61 mm per second as shown in the following figure first peak point plus 0.16 mm per second and second peak at plus 2.61 mm per second please note that both the absorption peaks have relative velocities positive plus in the previous case nitroprusside ion one peak was obtained at minus 0.50 mm per second while the other one was obtained at plus 1.88 mm per second but in the case of triphenyl tin chloride both the absorption peaks have positive relative velocities and the separation between these two absorption peaks will be called quadruple splitting now the time for second self assessment triphenyl tin chloride exhibits quadruple splitting it exhibits two absorption bands in its mass bar spectrum at 78 kelvin one at plus 0.16 mm per second and the other one plus 2.61 mm per second then we have to calculate the isomer shift and quadruple splitting for the excited nucleus in mm per second this question is similar to that previous one here is the solution quadruple splitting that is qs equals to separation between relative velocities of two absorption peaks on solving it we get quadruple splitting is equal to 2.41 mm per second and isomer shift mean of the relative velocities of two absorption peaks and both are positive therefore these two terms will be added on solving it we get isomer shift equals to plus 1.38 mm per second the above calculation can be explained diagrammatically as follows first peak is obtained at plus 0.16 mm per second the second one is obtained at plus 2.61 mm per second the separation between these two terms that is quadruple splitting is equal to these two relative velocities have a difference of plus plus 2.45 mm per second it is quadruple splitting and the dotted curve represents the mean of two absorption peaks and its relative velocity represents isomer shift and or band origin it is equal to 1.38 mm per second this separation this is isomer shift and it is quadruple splitting quadruple splitting separation between two absorption peaks it is equal to 2.45 mm per second and the mean of relative velocities of two absorption peaks represents band origin or isomer shift and it is equal to 1.38 mm per second this distance represents band origin thank you for watching the video with concentration we will meet again in the next video with some for with some more discussions on mass wire spectroscopy thank you